Welcome, Deviant Drivers, episode number six of A Drink with a Driver. Boy, everybody's looking sharp. Look, we got ZZ Top over here. We got we got Glovis. Whoa, oh, <laughs> whoa, oh, what we got? Mm. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> What's up? As you can see, we have a special guest today. It is Glovis. How we doing? Joins us. So we're gonna have kind of a a whole bunch going on. We're celebrating uh the wins of GT3 World and GT3 Sport, as well as doing a driver interview. So what do you say we get started? What are we drinking? What are we drinking? What are you drinking? We'll start with you, Junkai. I'm a little disappointed already. I know. Who knew they had screw off champagne bottles? <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> but that is what we're drinking tonight, gentlemen. Nice. To Team Porsche. And my old starry compadre. Wow, speaking of that. Anatole. Yeah, you know, <laughs> sent him a message yesterday saying Team Starry forever. You know, I'd expect him to maybe bring, <laughs> bring some, but I, I guess he lied. Yeah, I was Porsche I was going to. Porsche now. Team Porsche this, Team Porsche that. <laughs> <laughs> all forgotten about season two nah, i can respect <laughs> it i can respect it <laughs> i had i had good intentions i just never got to the store and i don't know where this came from so so you have time to it. find a trophy but not a soft drink it was in the house star is not usually in the house it should be you're right you're 100 percent right i apologize right, okay. i'll i'll just drink my champagne <laughs> So what's up? Did you guys see the fog machine? No? Yes, I could. I did not. Oh, damn. I'll get it again. You won't expect it. You won't see it coming, though. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> well, yes. Cheers. It's a good season. It was a good season. It was something. <laughs> it was something. It was something. <laughs> Yes. <clears throat> yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and toss over to Bad Rock uh, from uh, a couple about last week or so. Uh, we had a recap video. Uh, this time, Bad Rock is going to take us off and run through the leaderboards and kind of recap us on everything uh, GT3 oriented and probably a few other things. And so let's go ahead and go over to Bad Rock. Bad Rock. Take us away. Thanks, Merck, and hello, Deviants. The GT3 World Championship kicked off this weekend with racers bringing college sports-themed deliveries while visiting the beautiful mountains of Fuji, Japan, and taking on 35 laps of the treacherous racetrack that lay in their shadow. The season was long, but it concluded here. From the start, Junkai held the total point lead both individually and as a member of Team Porsche. He also held pole for this race. In his elegant Chanticleer livery, whose hopes of joining the Power Five will never come true, by the way, he was joined by the likes of Cyclones, Hawkeyes, and Tigers. Oh my! Despite claiming that he would be in third place by turn three, fooling absolutely no one, Junkai led the pack right from the start on hard tires with Zen 3000, Chaotica, and Besso behind, followed by Floody on the softs. With an early safety car on the horizon, mandatory hard tires, and a full 40 minutes of uninterrupted racing looming, the drivers had to settle their strategy and stick with it to deliver one final performance before the upcoming series merger. A three-way battle for fourth place on lap four ensued as Floody led Chaotica down the straight with Dirksy right behind. Chaotica took to the open air and was a bit late on the brakes, causing a fender bender with Floody. A patient Dirksy then seized the opportunity and jumped from sixth to fourth in the blink of an eye. Huge Jar saw the fight ahead and caught the slow-moving battle and was quickly dragged into the fray, going from 7th to 11th in the span of a sector as Mercury, Slug, and Thrasher were banging bodies in the back. With Anatole eyeing them up and paired with an early pit stop, he found himself at the back of the field. 
Following the safety car, everyone dove into the pit lane except Jar Jar Binks, and on the restart, he was quickly pounced on by Besso and Junkai. Thrasher and Slug got into a catfight, resulting in them staring down a big gap to make up with lots of time left. Zen got caught up on the rumble strips as well, losing two spots in the process. There was plenty of time left and the race is still anyone's game, as we all know how tough Fuji is in Sector 3. Jar did his best Fernando Alonso 2022 Monaco impression, holding up the pack and letting Junkai and Besso storm away from the rest. Junkai was on inferior tires, but still set the best lap over Besso's soft compound. Besso pitted and dropped to the midfield, and Junkai never really looked back. Mercury played the long game and was able to work his way to the front despite driving the majority of the race in the back, and Zen joined him there. The pack of three, who started battling with each other, ended battling with each other. Maxwell tried to make a final push on softs to no avail. Wrapping up the GT3 World Series, Junkai takes championship in first place, winning his third consecutive GT3 trophy. Congratulations! Besso took the silver both in the race and overall standings. Mercury took home the bronze after a patient race with Zen and Dirksy following. Third overall finish for the series belongs to Zen, with Mercury's solid performance in this race yielding not quite enough points to catch up. In team standings, Team Porsche walked away with the Constructors' Cup thanks to Junkai, Floody, and Slug having a phenomenal season. Led by Besso, Team Nissan took the silver, with Anatole and Thrasher helping secure the podium. And oh, how the mighty have fallen as Team Ford could not hang on to third. Mercury's finish today propelled Team Mercedes to the bronze, with Chaotica and Jar being the perfect teammates to make that happen. That's a wrap for Season 2.2 of GT3 World. It was long, featured many new track selections, and saw some new drivers join as well. All eyes look ahead to the upcoming series merger, and to the September 24th qualifying session where we'll see who's placed where. GT3 Sport was also visiting Japan this weekend and featured a fierce battle for first place. Unfortunately, Solaire was unable to race, making this a two-way fight for the gold between Victor and Zanshin, with newcomer Thundermouse getting into the mix as well. We raced with a small field of eight drivers this weekend on a gloomy afternoon in Suzuka, with mandatory soft tires. Vic took pole by a full second on Berman, with Dirksy and Thrasher sitting on the second row behind them. From the jump, Vic took it to Berman early, driving right to his edge, applying pressure immediately. Thundermouse's debut took a tragic turn as he entered the S's, hit the dirt, and almost took Anatole with him. This saw a big gap ahead open up, and guaranteed him a lonely race. The heartbreaks continued fast and furious as shortly afterwards Anatole suffered an engine failure, resulting in an early DNF. Vic had an early fastest lap, with Berman right on his tail as pairs formed across the track. A little further down the order, Thrasher was racing with Dirksy while Saito and Golden Oracle were doing the dance as well. Golden Oracle took the first bit of the day, dropping him to last as he got his softs out of the way. Saito followed shortly afterwards on the same strategy, as did Vic, who left the pit right behind Dirksy in third place. Berman tried to build the gap, but got caught in a blue flag scuffle with Golden Oracle, giving a big ol' shove off the track in the process. Thrasher and Dirksy's mediums gave out at the same time, and they entered the pits one after the other. Berman's tires went off shortly after, allowing Vic's insanely consistent laps to reclaim first place. But for how long? Vic had to pit again, and found himself behind Berman once more. Meanwhile, Tough Luck found Thundermouse for the second time in the race, with a crankshaft failure ending his day on lap 17. Vic caught Berman again, and their game of cat and mouse continued until Berman boxed as the window to make a final push started to close. Elsewhere on the track, Thrasher and Dirtsy continued to have a tight battle for the final podium. Vic finished his all-soft tire strategy and left the pit with 13 minutes remaining in the race, exiting a second behind Berman. They battled intensely, turning up the heat and waiting for each other to crack. On lap 25, Vic snuck by Berman with 10 minutes remaining. From there, it was all taillights as Berman saw Vic pull away a bit more with every lap. It was an amazing display of driving skill from our racers. In the end, Vic took first place with a four-second gap to Berman in second. This is without a doubt one of the all-time best battles for first in Deviant history. With over a full minute gap to the next driver, Dirksy pulled in the final spot of the podium for third place. With this victory, Vic is the overall champion of the GT3 Sport Series with 86 points. Berman comes in second with 84 points. The two-point difference between these two racers is essentially the difference between a fastest lap or one position change. Truly a fierce competition. Solar finishes in third with 66 points on the season. That's a wrap for GT3 Sport Series. Our drivers will soon join forces with the GT3 World Series in an epic new season starting soon. Congratulations to our winners, and thank you to all of our drivers. We'll see you on the track next season. All right. So, there it is. There's your recap. Job so, well done, sir. Job well done. Job well done. Well done. And so that recaps our leaderboard. So, let's talk about our guest tonight. Yeah, love Gladys. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, welcome to our nice little podcast. Uh, thank you for joining us as usual. I'm usually better prepared than this. 
I don't have anything prepared whatsoever. So you joined us in, I think it was June of last year as well, with the first cohort of Chaotica Zen Glovis crew. Have been sticking it out with us ever since with your crazy liveries. You need to keep up a livery little thing down here somewhere. Got to throw the best ones up there. Yeah, I know. And and you do amazing work when it comes to uh, your Give liveries, for sure. Give a plug. I, that's what I said. Plug. Yeah. Plug, plug your livery <laughs> site. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but, so you have been with us for a while. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, are you looking forward to next season? I assume so. Right now, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm still in shock from the race yesterday. I just, I'm, I'm excited, but at the same time, terrified. Yeah. Because I just can't. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. Really? Wow. I cannot get it. <laughs> so I know it'll click. I mean, everyone's saying it, so I know it will. But yep. the second I think I have it, it's just all wiped away. Yeah. So, the, funny is, the, 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 the funny thing is, as frustrated as you are now because it's not working, you'll be equally as frustrated when it does because you won't be able to pinpoint what that one thing was from this time to this time that made it work. And all of a sudden it works and it'll be so frustrating. Cause you'd be like, I didn't do anything differently, but all of a sudden it just works. And then you won't be able to do it the other way. You won't be able to use a controller. I couldn't drive on a controller. If you put a pistol to my head. I I've tried it once with the time trial last week. And after using wheel, I was like, I'm not doing this. Like, it just feels weird now having it driving wise. Yeah, it's 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 difficult for sure. And I haven't been driving near as long as either of you. So I can only imagine as long as you two have been doing it, it's it's a lot more difficult for sure. So <clears throat> all right. So let's get to our questions. Let's let's deep dive into the Glovis man. First mm -hmm. off, uh, where'd your name come from? I don't really know. Um Actually, uh, when I first got a PlayStation, my mom was like, you can't do anything funny. Just make it your name so you don't forget it. And this was like <laughs> almost 10 years ago when I was, you know, just entering high school. And I was like, whatever. So I haven't changed it, but I like to have it uniform when I'm playing, not online. So everyone's name is still first initial. Yeah. Last name, just to keep it clean. I mean... Not everyone can be as cool as some like new liquidy metal thing, um, but it's okay. It's it's a good name. It sticks. It suits you. Yeah, suits that, you, half people so, pronounce it wrong, but how do how do you mispronounce that? If people like emphasize the A or overemphasize it. It's got to be soft with it. Glove us, glove glove ass, like like an eye. Take the A out, add an eye. All right, that's interesting. People, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you get me with glovis. Like, Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to move on to some questions real quick and roll through this. What is your favorite track in the game? GT7. Got to be uh, Majori. I know really? all of will probably freak out because I may have pronounced that wrong. But <laughs> I've, that was my first uh, GT3 win and then my only win, I believe. Yeah. And that's where I won the Sunday Cup last year. Mm -hmm. I always have a race. It's, I think it's a nice flowing track. It's tough. You get airborne on that last straight. Mm -hmm. It's time to get a new car. I just tested there because I think it's the most enjoyable to drive and not overly frustrating. And the downhill sections are nice. Was your yeah. win in Alpha? Mm -hmm. It was, right? Yeah. 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 And yep. that's, that's the one I stole the pit stop strategy from Slug when he said it out loud. <laughs> I remember that. Zen, what lap we pitting on again? That's also that was also referenced today by Floody when he literally dive bombed Slug and knocked him out of the race <laughs> altogether. So and then I decided to draft both of them, which was apparently a great idea. So all right, what is your least favorite track? Daytona Road Course. Or oh. or the Nurburgring. I refuse to drive either of them 
Well, we we saw that actually happen last time we ran the Nurburgring ring <laughs> uh, during the three hour endurance race, um, where you just jumped in the pits, came out when you wanted to. I don't know if you were tailgating or what over there, but you still, yeah, didn't go. I anywhere. did. I made myself lunch in the meantime. I took a shower. <laughs> <laughs> came, came and went as I pleased. So what do you hate about Daytona road course? <clears throat> I just, that first turn coming mm. off the half the oval, slamming on the brakes as you're coming off the, the bank, mm-hmm. going in and having to make a hard, essentially U-turn. Yeah. It doesn't flow. It, it has no flow. It's not fun driving on flat ground for the rest of the track. Yeah. And all those turns are just not enjoyable. And then the one before the oval two is just miserable. So, so I, you know, we're releasing the track list tonight for next season. I'm aware. Guess what tracks on there? That's not that. It better not be that. We're not going to talk about it right yet. Moving on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of endurance race, because that was the last time we were at the endurance uh, race in the endurance at Nürburgring. Are you committed to driving with us at the endurance coming up? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Come on. I, after yesterday's performance, <laughs> I don't know if I could put myself through the mental torture of three hours of that. Right. put a few laps on and it it's so much more fidgety oh yeah so like it's tougher. minimal inputs that's it and when i was running laps i saw the the 57 on hards and i was like all right let's run a few see where i'm at and i can't break two <laughs> so <laughs> i haven't touched it in a week but give it time give it time all right we're we're hoping you do your name's still on the roster no one's removed you from it despite what you said yesterday we're going to just let I, it linger for a little bit. I had a nice livery plan, so I think that might keep me in because I still want to do that. There you go. There you go. There you go. Right. And do you have a teammate? I can't remember. Yeah. I think it might be Soler. Oh, One you don't want to let him down, down, man. Sport, but they don't know if they can make it yet. So, ah, uh, okay. They said right. no, I like the week of. All right. So, next question. Do you have a particular incident that stands out in your mind, either good, bad, indifferent, just something that sticks with you as something that happened? Yeah. So season one of the first GT3 season, we we're at yep. Trial Mountain. Yeah. And for some reason, I decided to stay on an extra lap on softs and everyone else. Thinking mm-hmm. it was good. I took like a three minute lap. I remember that. Yeah, you probably you passed me going to the tunnel. I yep. clearly remember. So then the, the rest of the race, because we had 50 minutes then, was catching up. I passed Floody. I got past Kira Sky. And I was in ninth, heading, the, the timer was gone, heading into the uh, tunnel straight. Thrasher and I believe Slug or maybe Zarth were battling. And Thrasher just threw me into the wall. <laughs> and I, w- I would have been fine with the seventh after meeting up. And I was like, that was the only time I think I've ever come in. I'm like, dude, Thrasher, what was that for? <laughs> nothing. And then later that day, you were like, you just got thrashed. Yep. We just got thrashed. thrashed. We just got thrashed. <laughs> the, I mean, I, I've had the clip. I, I still watch it back sometimes because I'm just like, I just don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> I hope you I, clip it. I hope you clip it. I'm not mad at Thrasher because it's pretty funny now looking back at it. But. Right. I I do remember that because that was right after the new update when they checked the whole they changed the whole tire compound with where you never got a chance to test it. I remember us talking about it on PSN. You hopped in and that was at the time when your tires went, like they were gone. And you being in that four C, yeah, you didn't stand a chance on that one. I remember you I just didn't get past turn that one. Was, <laughs> yeah, that was the the longest lap besides Anatole's running out of gas at yeah, that was Le Mans. <laughs> that was the longest lap of my life. I was put it on TCS five. I was like, I could do one more. Turn one, I just spun. I was like, how am I gonna get back? That was yeah, I could see where that stands out. And I do remember that too. I remember you sitting the other direction in the tunnel. You know, it's strange with the old tire compound, mm-hmm. the way they had it, yeah, because they did significantly change it. Now you can run when the tires go completely red. It used to be you could not. When they went completely red, that was it. It was done. It seems almost like that would have been more realistic then 
than this. Like now you can pretty much run them all to red if, if you really want to. Your lap times will suffer, of course, but the car was at least is at least now controllable. You could do it, whereas before you could not. It's true. It was a big change. Mm-hmm. And then they changed it like again. It? Which yep. way do you prefer? Which way do you think is better? I think when the tires are all the way red, they should go. Because then the rest of the bar is useless, in my opinion. Yeah, 100%. Yep. I agree. All right, last question. This is a fun question. We haven't asked this one yet. What is in your dream garage? Three cars, unlimited funds, nothing holding you back. You just call it out, pluck it out of the air, sitting in your garage. All right. Here's what I got. Because I think the the smaller cars are better than these big hyper cars. I'd go a 96 Corvette Grand Sport. sport the okay. Nice blue with the giant white stripe down the middle. Okay. Beautiful car. A... Early, any early the 2000 earlys model of the Lotus Elise. Okay. And I'll go with the uh, Superbird. Ah, nice, nice play. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice play. <laughs> nice. Do you got? Do you have a? Uh, do you have a garage picked out? Out of curiosity. Oh, oh mine's the opposite of Glovis, man. <laughs> I go. I go Koenigsegg Agera. Um, I'm like, yeah, hypercars all the way. Um, I like the, the kind of the new remake just to try it out. And then, uh, let's see the old school, maybe mm, it's gotta be a freaking fastback Mustang. You gotta be gone in 60 seconds. Eleanor easy. Oh that. yeah. Now, now you're, now you're on board. <laughs> it's an eleanor yeah it is the eleanor yeah that's mine mine would be sticking with glovis on the corvette thing but i would go for the 2019 corvette zr1 manual convertible okay what color in 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 the uh in the orange that was a limited color and it was a package color as well so in orange, uh, and then uh, it would have to. Next car would have to be probably a. I got to be a Land Rover, man. You got to have an SUV, especially uh, Junkai. You know, you didn't pick an SUV, so you know. Well, I thought I'd get laughed at when I picked a Ford F six fifty, converted to an SUV, because those things are badass. <laughs> they are pretty cool. They would drive so, over your Land uh, Rover, just saying. Yeah, you got you got to go with a Land uh, Land Rover. Got to have a Land Rover. Those things are the best looking. Like, I mean, three years from now, it'll be complete shit and broken down, but uh, and still look the same as all the other models before it. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, just don't. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're like twenty years old. They still look drop dead gorgeous, mm-hmm. but none of them run. Um, yeah. So a Land Rover. And then the third has got to be a uh, Bentley Continental. Um, Who's driving you around in it? Uh, you, you don't have drivers for Bentleys. Drivers drive you around in Rolls Royces. Drivers drive Bentleys. Oh, ooh, ooh. The driver. Ooh. <laughs> you get when driven you around in Rolls. <laughs> you drive a Bentley. Mm-hmm. Yes. So Continental, Continental GT. All right, all right. So now we know well, our, you know our our dream garage. Yeah, yeah. Gloves. Anything you don't want to know from us? We good? You I good? know you two pretty well. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we're on the same team, and you still didn't bring the. Still kind of mad about that one. Uh, <laughs> I know. I'm not gonna ever let you live that down. So I know. I get on the same team again. I know. I know. You did a great job with picking that out, though. Like we've educated the entire Discord on what Starry is, and there is nothing more. I I posted it like eighteen times today. Everyone's like, "What the hell, Starry? What the hell, Starry?" Now they know. They do know. Brandon (laughs) Harris. All right. Well, glove us again. Thanks for being here, bud. On the invite. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, we're circling back to the reason we have. Everything that we have, we're all dressed very nice. 
I could see everybody's dressed extremely in their in their best. Uh, good to see. And Junkai has what? You have a trophy. Yeah, I do. You are the winner of GT3 World. So congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Job well done. I would like to thank my mother. I would like to thank my son, my dogs. My pool boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a pool boy. <laughs> you are the pool boy. Yeah, I am the pool boy in my house. But yeah, no, thank you. It was, uh, you know, there was a little buffer there. I knew what I needed, what position I needed, just in case Besso came, you know, to really wreck my life. I knew where I needed to end up. Um, so it worked out. It worked out three seasons in a row. We know. We're oh, aware. Just, I, I, for the new people who may not know. True, true, true. They don't, true. They don't know where you're dying. Right. For the new people, now you do know. That's right. So, That's right. the start uh, of the race was a bit chaotic, I think is a proper way to say. Um, I thought it went pretty well. In the back. <laughs> a bit chaotic. <laughs> It was three and four wide through turn I did one. See that. And uh, yeah, so it was, uh, there was a lot of bumping, not at anybody's fault. There was just a lot of cars trying to get through corner number one. And uh, it was, Glovis, Glo where, where were where were you on, where did you start the race? I wasn't, but. I didn't even make it to turn one, so. You didn't make it to turn one. <laughs> nope. If you watch it, I had the, the great idea of driving in the grass, so I did uh, not even make it to the party. <laughs> <laughs> did, you go, did you go the long way around through, through one? Yeah, I I started 11th, and I had speed on thrash for whatever reason. I said, I'll go in the grass, and that, that was my first spin, and that started the climax on lap. 11 where i just said <laughs> i'm out so it was chaotic though because i did see it was an absolute mess of cars yeah it was it was everybody everybody was piling into corner one and quite honestly the first two laps were a massive battle back and forth i mean it was it was cars diving to the inside pushed out wide bumping uh nothing egregious it was just it's it's a wide track but at the same time there's a lot of hairpins and everybody gets into these hairpins all together and you just got a mass of cars together that you just can't there's just no dealing with it's just it is what it is um so it was it took a, it took a couple laps to sort all that out yeah, it it stayed compressed for a while. I remember looking at it a handful of times, and it it was it was just everybody, all the arrows heading in the same direction, and just compiled. It was interesting, especially <laughs> in that back sick. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's where it got messy. Yeah, understand, understand. So, yeah, it was uh, it was fun. I tried to, I squeezed over. Because I was on the outside, and I think this is my first time going up against the GT side by side with Zen, and I didn't know how I'd get off the line next to him. So when I took off, I started to squeeze down towards the inside, and I noticed he stayed in my rear view the whole time, and I didn't want to cause an incident or anything, so I wasn't going to go over real quick. But once I saw that that gap never really closed, I kind of pushed in front of him. Uh, to kind of hold that inside. So that's that was my move, turn one. Well, it seemed to work out for you. <laughs> don't don't I'll get too damn excited. <laughs> <laughs> that was my move, man. <laughs> I put all my moves into that. 
You know, we could talk about me starting on hard tires for for qualifying. We can talk about that if you want to. Yeah, you did. That's right. You did. You you uh yeah. Even after all of my reassurances that I give all the drivers, please change your tires and be set. Did a reminder. I did a uh no, 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 you did. You did. <laughs> and and lesson learned, PSA to everyone out there. Whatever tires you enter into the lobby with is what you're going to start on. Because I was practicing on hards. I went into the pits, changed over to softs. When you said, we're going to start qualifying, I'm sitting there on softs being like, I'm good to go. And then it started me on hards. So lesson learned. Didn't affect my race. We're good. Just means I had to push harder, quicker, faster. <laughs> You got you got a five minute quality. I did get a five minute quality. So Zen's over there mumbling, dull and needed. Dull and needed. Love you, Zen. <laughs> and then after qualities, we rolled safety car. So safety car came up, safety car number, lap number nine. Yep. It was the minimum number it could have been out of all of them. Let's talk what everybody's thoughts were about safety car on nine. Go ahead, Glovis. Uh, well, this week was Zen quoted that this race doesn't matter. I'm going to do awful. He didn't do a write up. So <laughs> that left me just even in a horse spot. So I just threw on mediums because I had mediums la lasting around eight, nine, which would be fine for the safety cars. Last two laps are going. 60 so the plan was mediums and then hards and hards again till the end that was the plan we'll leave it at that understood so, so, so team four team four had a very condensed simplified plan okay yeah i i was i was glad to see safety car as early as possible i think that's the earliest maybe we'd have to go back and look our statistician down here can verify that later on when he's posting all this stuff. Uh, but <clears throat> I was happy to see it because that meant it was going to be a, essentially 40 minutes of clean, like just get out there and race, get out there and race, no stopping, stick to a strategy. Thankfully, I meandered out a way that I was able to get 13 laps on mediums in the Porsche. So I ran hards to the safety car. Pitted on nine with everybody else except for Jar Jar. And then it was medium, then medium. That was it. Two stops, done. Hard, medium, medium. That was so nice I was glad to see lap nine. I, I wasn't necessarily glad to see lap nine, but I, I I did the same strategy as you did. It was it was um, start on the hards, get them out of the way, and then try to split the remaining run on mediums. I, you know, preferred it being a little bit later, uh, just for the exact opposite reason you're talking about. <clears throat> you were saying that way you had 40 minutes of long driving time to break that up would give you a better, um, if you were in the back to get to the front. Oh, I agree. hundred percent. So, but same idea though, was still to get on the hards quick, <laughs> get off of them quick and get on the mediums. My wife uh, just saw the fog machine, the lights, the trophy, the champagne for the first nice. time. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when safety car came, apparently, unlike at Alsace, uh, Alsace, you know what? I, it, I, I, unlike at Alsace, <laughs> we uh, everybody except for one driver had the exact same strategy, and the strategy was pit with a safety car. One driver stayed out. Uh, that driver was huge jar. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. else pitted with the car with a safety car. Yep. So I don't. Where did he finish? I don't remember. Uh, I hey, believe anybody. Time. Bueller. Time? Yeah, well, I'll get back to that. He took he took six points. So tenth or ninth. Yeah. I don't know if it'll be thrashers. Okay. I wrote it. I should know, but 
<laughs> That's, and, and good. after safety car it was a it was a battle there was two battles through the race and speaking of which interestingly enough uh the, the two champions that we had <laughs> through this series junkai drove the 911 gt3 and Fogor drove the mclaren 650s the cool thing about it is both wheels are represented behind me. I don't know how I wound up with both wheels that both drivers <laughs> had, but that's kind of coincidental and interesting. However, both drivers also ended up in a very big battle that came down through the end of the race. Your battle, Junkai, was with Besso over the course of several laps, correct? Yeah, my wife's taking a video picture of me right now nice i don't know where this is going your wife have might get it on snapchat here in a second that's daddy yeah, have her send it to me i will put it up as a clip into the they said uh, daddy discord get out of here, here. yes <laughs> we'll meme it <clears throat> excellent there's enough okay. memes going around me already, so we're good <laughs> yeah anyway what did you ask so, I asked you about, about uh, driver battles. You you had a battle with Besso. Yeah. Uh, over the course of several laps, uh, it went over what maybe ten, maybe I don't, I don't know. Yeah, right, right after, right, right after, after the yeah, right after the safety car, uh, when we went into the pits, I had more fuel than he did, and he came out ahead of me. So I know he shortchanged himself, which was smart to get out ahead, right, and me behind him. I assumed he was on mediums. I didn't know what compound he was on, but I assumed he was on mediums. And, <clears throat> and sorry then, to interrupt you, but my wife is cackling downstairs, so I can. So only she just got the Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a massive my cackle just, could be heard from the other room. <laughs> my phone just went off too. So yeah, <laughs> thanks. Um, but yeah, so for for quite a while, like. Uh, he, I just stayed behind him. I wasn't pushing. Uh, I honestly, I was trying to conserve fuel where I could. Um, I, I pushed on him a little bit, but then I was also trying to, I guess I can talk about it now since the season over was over, but I was trying to set up my move when I was going to, to go for that, that pass. Right. So I was watching all of his lines, just kind of memorizing them, trying to see where I was going to squeeze it in. I uh, pushed on a couple of them to see how he would react. And that's the benefit of 60 minutes is you don't have to make that move immediately. A lot of people just want to get that move done and get out in front. But sometimes right. there's an advantage of saving fuel, watching what they're doing. And sometimes just the pressure alone pushes them off the track. They make mistakes. He ran wide on a couple of them <clears throat> and I didn't push him. I just wanted to see not physically push him, but I mean, I didn't push on him to get past him because I honestly at the time I didn't want to push on mediums I just wanted to stay in line with him and and close um but then when I when he went into the pits I saw he was on softs so I was like all right this is gonna work out because I knew if he was on softs right he was either gonna run hards again which I knew Bessa was not gonna do that or he'd go back to back softs and that pit is too long and for me, it was too long. I wasn't going to try yeah. that. So I didn't. I just stayed on mediums and wrote it out. But it was it was fun. I mean, he got a second up on me once, and then I'd, I'd catch up to him. And then it was tight for a while, but it was clean. Clean the whole time. I found it I found it interesting because, yeah, that was my – you know, <clears throat> I didn't realize until after the fact that Besso had run a soft, soft, soft strategy mm -hmm. on that. Because my fear was was I wanted to pit as little as possible because this track penalized you so bad in the pits between the time to get in the pit and then get out and then the ta time loss from the speed difference that you had between the drivers going down the straight was a massive difference. Yeah. And I felt like the least pit that you can do, the better. So I never even considered softs really – from that standpoint, I had a strategy where I was, there was a couple three, 
three pit strategies depending on where the safety car fell. Um, but like I said, I I was excited that it landed on on lap nine. But yeah, it was a good little run. I enjoy running with Besso. He's he's uh, I've told him before. He's made me sharper in what I do because you got to defend against him, and the way he defends is he's all in like you're not getting on the apex against Besso. you are going to have to go around him on the outside or wait for a mistake um so you know that's it's the joys of running with Besso. but it's it's gonna be i know we've talked about it and we're itching for it but next season's gonna be crazy i'm excited i'm excited so no it was good and then you you went from what uh, what position did you call in? Was it fifth, sixth, yeah. fifth. fifth on the outside? Started on the outside, which I knew I was screwed from the beginning because there was no getting to the inside. So I said, "Well, I'm on the outside." Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, I was on the outside. I figured I would just be on the outside. I got pushed further to the outside. Ended up on the outside, outside, all the way. And actually, I think. After turn one, I was either like ninth or eleventh. I mean, I was almost, I was almost in last. I, I don't, I don't know. It just, I, I got pushed out. Then I got in that green stuff. Had to get back on the track. Cars were on the inside, and I just settled in. I was like, it's fine, whatever. I'm on hards. I don't know what these guys are on. Let them go. Uh, we still got the safety car, and whittled my way back up and throughout the race, and then ended up in third. And at the end of the race, I ended up quite a bit ahead of Zen, but too far behind Besso that there was, I was closing on him, but there was just not enough laps anywhere near to, to be able to do anything. I mean, I was still four plus seconds behind and, uh, but I, I was slowly closing. So I knew whatever strategy or tires he was on, he had to have been out of them or some other thing was going on. So no, it was, it was again, it was a risk to pit three times uh, with such a long pit, but it worked out for Besso. It did. Definitely did. Nope. Yeah, surprisingly well. Surprisingly yeah. well. No, it did. But no, kudos to you. I mean, because at one point you were 11th place and you whittled your way back to third. So, yeah. Yeah. Good job, yep. sir. Thank <laughs> you. Appreciate it. Yeah, so absolutely. I'm here for you. <laughs> so right so uh moving on to gt3 sport where we congratulate our champion there Fogor. this is his yes he can share in the trophy congratulations sir i'll send so, it your way I'll, I'll give you half of it <laughs> you can cut it in half with a chainsaw i can I can, but no, we're we're just team starry tonight. I would never do that. Are we? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Touche, good sir. <laughs> yeah, good sir. Yeah. I got something. You can have the trophy. I got something you don't. I know. I know. <laughs> You're right. I'm wrong. You're handsome. I'm not. You're smart. <laughs> I'm dumb. He's can you name that movie? <laughs> no. Ah, <laughs> someone will name that movie. We'll see. I'll get torn apart for it. Yeah, I know. It's a great movie. Adam Sandler movie. I'll just leave it at that. I might have seen it then. I. It sounds familiar. Okay. All right. Well, so you did the recap for both leaderboards, which we appreciate immensely. Um, so you watched a lot of the footage from GT3 Sport, I assume. Yeah. So what did you see? Uh, Fogor and Berman just did not leave each other's side. Yeah, it was uh, Fogor did soft, 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 I think, and uh, Berman, Fogor would get him pit early, Berman would go ahead and just back and forth, back and forth. And then at the end, with 13 minutes left, the they came one of them came out of the pits and a second together within. Four straight laps didn't leave each other's side until inevitably Fulgor got him on softer tires at the time. But neither of them made a mistake the whole race. The only mistake was when Berman like slammed to the back of Oracle, <laughs> which <clears throat> I don't know if that changed the effect of the race. Right. But he was, that's when he was ahead. 
but it was it was one of the tightest races at least in the gt3 series because those cars are a lot more bounce power yep and at sunday cup you could fall pretty closely for 15 minutes but for a full hour it was pretty impressive yeah they they're there are some competitors over there and and Fulgore put his time in. I'm sure Berman did as well. Uh it it was tight. I watched it. I watched it while he, Merck was streaming it and doing an excellent job streaming it. Just going from video to video, point of uh point of view to point of view, inside cockpit, behind, like anytime someone passed somebody, you showed the rear view. And I was like, dude, cinematic you know, masterpiece. I know. It was. <laughs> I, I just be your trophy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was that was really good. That was really they good. Were, yeah, they they were neck and neck the entire. Yeah, they were back and forth. One was leading, and the other was leading. There were different pit strategies, obviously. Clearly, they they were pitting at different times. But then, yeah, just like Love has said, at that one point, they come out of the pits together, and literally, they're right there. And they battle it out for several laps, and it goes back and forth. And then one ducks into the pits, and then the other one's in the lead. And then they come out. And, I mean, it was and, – and it was only separated by two points. I mean, the entire entire thing was uh, Fogor won with 86, and uh, Berman uh, had 84. So it was close right down to the end, yeah. literally. Which Fogor said, too, this first race in Daytona with his connection – he said he was going to quit just so he wouldn't crash anyone. So if he did and he wouldn't get those 10 points, he wouldn't be the champ. That's he true. focused so hard on Suzuka that he didn't even race at Fuji with Toyota. He spent apparently that entire time, I suppose, while we were running at Fuji practicing Suzuka. He he put everything into that race. There was a There was a team Toyota? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> I, don't team Toyota. I don't remember one. <laughs> <laughs> I remember some shitty ass car with some chili on the side. It was weird. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was yeah, it was weird. Yeah. I don't Yeah, what what what's that chili? What is it? Uh oh, Skyline. Skyline. Skyline, right, right, right. It's a that's a what an Ohio thing or something, I guess. Yeah, I haven't had it. What? No, no. I have not. I don't, I don't blame you. <laughs> not no, at all. It is on my list before I graduate to to try the noodle chili that is so good. So there's got to be some like diner nearby, right? Like uh, a Skyline Chili, two a.m. Drunk off your ass, go get some chili over pasta kind of thing. Got to be. Is that the is that the catch on it? Like, explain it to us, like, Glovis. Even though you you haven't had it, but is that like the idea? It's it's chili over pasta. Is that the yeah. deal? And I mean, for the most part, no like fast food place just does chili, and they have their like Skyline Chili Dogs, and obviously everyone from Cincinnati thinks it's the best thing ever. Yeah. Which I we should tell a Fulgore to earmuff so he doesn't hear this like chili on pasta thing. Yeah, he, uh, may, he may struggle with this. He's gonna have a conniption. <laughs> I, I've heard from my friends here who are not from Ohio that it's don't even bother. I mean, you got to, but and they sell it in the store though, in like the Boyardee cans, essentially. <sighs> you could buy it straight up, and I saw it buying this today. <laughs> nice. And I was thinking about it, but <clears throat> I will. I'll report back when I do get get my hands on some. Well, don't feel like you have to. I'm just saying. Oh, I have to. I have okay. To. All right. You you do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> you do your thing. But yeah, GT3 Sport, man. There were some good. Thrasher good and Dirksy battled too yesterday. What's that? Thrasher and Dirksy too yesterday. Mm -hmm. Neck and neck the whole night. Yeah. Yep. And that's it is tough to go. Back to back races. I mean, we do it in Sunday Cup, but they're 15 minute stints and go 60 minute and then take a break. New car, 60 minutes. Um, troopers, man. Troopers. They did well. Yeah. It is. I like to see Thrasher pushing on people, not, not kind of how you dealt with it, but 
<laughs> Let I'm it go, landing. man. Let it go. <laughs> I'm not letting it go. Like a bridge, like a what is it? Bridge? Wait, water under the bridge? Yeah. I was gonna sing Simon and Garfunkel Bridge over Troubled Water, but I didn't want to get into my Chanticleer choir. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Okay. What do we got next? What do we have next? Well, so what we have coming up next is some exciting things that are on the agenda for the next basically month and a little busy. more than a month. It's a busy month. Well, it doesn't I don't it seems busy. We race every Sunday anyway, but it seems busy because they're all different. I think that's why it seems busy. Maybe it's just busy to us because we actually got to do shit instead of just showing up. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah, well, yeah, it, 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 well, maybe, <laughs> maybe, but next, uh, the next race is going to be a Sunday cup race, which is going to be at Monza and it's going to be formula one cars Two, so, two Monzas. Yeah. Two Monzas, one with the chicane, one without the chicane. Yeah. Surprised by that. I think it works. Yeah. Do you like Monza Glovis? Oh, I I've never raced on it in the league. Really? What? Yeah. The uh mm. our GT3 I'm my gonna fact, I'm gonna fact check this. GT3 Stand my Wi Fi kicked out. Fact check and, this. <laughs> uh Besso's race, I wasn't there. Huh. It was the two races. That was the Ferrari race. He's right. Yeah. He was not there for the Ferrari race. And GT3, there wasn't many of us there. That's the one you won and got the fastest lap on. Uh, I got kicked out within the first 15 minutes. Hmm. Hmm. And I know because I like spun out turn one there too. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, so hmm. we would be. That, you could fact check it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm fact checking right now. I am. There's your he name. He's literally the statistician. <laughs> I know. I've watched every race, all of them. But here's the thing. You have points from when we ran at Monza. Yeah, because I started the race. You started? Oh, you got a I was, DNF. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to fact check your ass. <laughs> yeah, he got it. He got, he got three. He got, he got minimal points. He got last place. <clears throat> after all right. that, all right. so after Monza, be. Which is a good thing. Monza is going to be a warm up for where we're going after Monza, which is when all of us uh, collectively came up with this great idea to have another round of a three hour endurance race this time at Spa. And this will be a three hour endurance race at Spa with F1 cars, which will be the Belgian Grand Prix. So we're going to spend a lot of time in an F1 car over the next couple of weeks. Yep. And it, it was that my thought on the endurance race? Have we started I mean, preps? Have we have everybody team, started their preps? Team Ferrari. I threw some I, I threw some times down because I wanted to challenge everybody. Plus Anatole started it like he usually does. Yeah, with does. these circuit experiences and whatnot. And usually I don't get into it. Um, I just let everyone else do their thing. But just recently I had an itch for it. So I went out and and busted everyone up at Red Bull Ring, and then I I wanted to show Anatole that we could do a little bit better on hearts. So hopefully he's practicing and uh, comes back stronger and faster, and we'll see. But I'm ready for it. Like, well, hold on, I'm I'm mentally prepared to start practicing for it because now this season's over. <clears throat> Otherwise, I was not ready yet. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. I. It's going to be a challenge. There are going to be incidents because these things driving so fast around people that, you know, it's it's just such a reactionary car. And once you commit, like you're in it, like when you turn right, you're going right. There's no let me adjust like <laughs> there's you got to be aware of your surroundings. And honestly, my advice and my, my own advice, I'm 
I'm not going to push. I'm going to just wait till people just end up off the track and go from there. You know, but it's, I'm looking forward to it. I like these cars. I like the precision. I like the speed. Can't wait to join Glovis in the race here. It's going to be good. In the pets. No, 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 no. <laughs> are you, Merck, are you uh, not looking forward to it? I never changed my name. Damn it. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, I am. Uh, I am. I am looking forward to it. You know, I. Uh, it, it's going to be different. I am, I'm. <clears throat> it's going to be long. It's going to be very different from Nurburgring. At least Nurburgring, you had to long straight to be able to uh kind of take a quote unquote break so to speak uh there there's a little straight here but not like there was on the Nürburgring where you really had a chance to take a take a good solid break before starting all of this again so um it's it's going I think it's going to be even more tiring and more strenuous than Nürburgring was in all honesty yeah it's Plus, the cars mentally drain you because everything you have to be on cue instantaneously all the time with them. There's there's no no relaxation with these cars through the through the corners at all. How would you guys be if it rained? I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> that means you're in. That means you're in. I like it. <laughs> the, the first three races on a wheel couldn't have been worse choice couldn't have been worse so. uh, it, the, the chances of rain are high over the course of three hours at spa there is a there is a solid a, a fairly solid chance of rain to be honest you can hear i can wait did you hear that zen just said he's good in the rain he hopes it rains zen always hopes for rain yeah He's over doing a rain dance now, probably. After after the endurance race, after we collectively identified injuries, we've compiled the injury report from this race. After we have uh, determined who's got carpal tunnel, uh, then we have the Sunday Cup Finals, which is going to be the Clubman 500. That will that will wrap Sunday Cup season two point three for the entire season yeah glavis are you running next season sunday cup no yeah sure yeah there That's he goes sure. there he goes there he goes yeah out of boy yeah he's gonna say you know somebody won because he didn't race this season oh i'm already gonna say that <laughs> <laughs> That's a starry teammate I've ever heard one. <laughs> as soon as Zen starts talking, that's exactly what I'm saying. What was it after the first race? All right. Yep. <clears throat> that's fantastic. Following that is the most uh, exciting weekend I think everybody's really looking forward to. And that is September 24th, which is going to be GT3, GT4, Quali weekend. And Did you just drop the track list. We are going to right now. So this is like right, right now. Literally, the GT3 GT4 schedule will be dropped right now. Wait, <laughs> you don't want to do it yet. Yeah, we just did it. So okay. that <laughs> is your schedule for GT3 GT4. Regardless of whether you're a GT3 or GT4 driver, you're going to drive the same schedule, the same tire compounds, same dates, obviously different times. But uh, now you have the schedule. List it out. Somebody in the Discord, who was, who was trying to, to work out? Anatole. Early? Anatole. Okay, Anatole. Yes. Anatole. There. Ran Road Atlanta's not on there. Road Atlanta is not on. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I admire him trying to solve an Easter egg, though. Congrats. Yep. And job well done with that. Yep. At least the attempt. So which which track are you most excited about? Well, 
so excited <laughs> about. I guess uh, I guess Watkins Glen. Not much. Uh, and, and guys, you guys pick this. Yeah, so this was. Play, this is what you guys voted for. These are the tracks. So first, we go to Brands Hatch. That's a first. Then, it is a first. And then we go to Interlagos. That was the one I was most disappointed with, with all of you. I can't believe it. We Pity. gotta we gotta see who voted and voted. Oh, I'm 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 spoiling everything now. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm a jury member. I was on the jury and I'm just gonna let it all spill out. <laughs> everyone, I'm gonna dime everyone out who voted on that track. <laughs> dime everybody. Out. <clears throat> uh, yeah, after place. that is Laguna Seca, legit pick. I I, I like Laguna Seca, uh, and then Watkins Glen, another good pick. Suzuka, Damn, and then Spa. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's a good setup. Good lineup. It is yeah. a lot better than it starts. I agree with that. Doesn't better. Yeah, so, I definitely agree with that. It uh, it was all random though. We went to the wheel of names, the wheel of death, and it sorted out the tiebreakers. It sorted out the order, and it sorted out the tire compounds. So, yeah. soft, 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 hard, hard, hard. I think if I remember right. Yeah. Somehow. So it, it, yeah. So like I say, it goes. It goes through the season. It starts off a lot worse than it ends up. So, uh, and it soft to heart. It it almost works like yeah. an adult film, doesn't it? Whoa, easy, easy. Moving on, Glovis. Which <laughs> track are you most excited about? <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. I'm gonna go. Uh, definitely Spa. Yeah, I do really uh, like Spa. Redemption from from last time. Yeah, I'm still kind of mad about that. Yeah, I remember pulling off. I have, yeah, I messaged you immediately when I crossed the finish line. Yeah, yeah, I missed that one. I've still yet to race at Spa in these cars. I would say Spa or probably Spa. There's still getting used to the the new setup. There's too many places to go off in those first few. Yeah. So it's yeah. true. We'll have plenty of practice before we get to Spa. We will all know Spa extremely well by the time we get there. Yeah, that is true. But mm, you know what's going to be a crap show? Brands Hatch. So sh Such a thin track. Yeah. It's like just a mini, mini Nürburgring. Don't say that. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that word. I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> well, All right. Okay, so, drivers, you now have your schedule for GT3, GT4 for next season. The next season schedule, you have the uh, car roster list, the car bank that's available. You now have the qualification rules and the way that's going to be. The only thing left that we're going to drop within the next week or so is going to be the final rules for GT3, GT4. They're not going to be totally uh, revamped or anything necessarily hugely different. There are going to be some changes. We will go over those in an individual post as an announcement, kind of highlighting those things uh, and et cetera. But uh, that pretty much gives you everything that there is coming up in GT3, GT4 in the upcoming season for you to look forward to. So be looking at the car bank, be thinking about where you, what car you want to drive, kind of be testing. Keep in mind, whatever you pick for GT3, you have to have a strong car in GT4. So the decision is not as linear as it has been as to just which is the best GT3 car. You have to factor that GT4 car in there as well. So, um, but anybody want to talk about where you're, where you're going? Anybody? Is there something you'd you'd like to drive? Is anybody willing to share anything at this point? I'm not I'm not jumping in the Porsche again. I'll tell you that. That'll be on the market. There's a question for the viewers. If your GT3, GT4 team has two cars in one category, can you switch between mid season? Nope. Can't blame you. Stick with it. Stick with it. 
That's right. You make your choice. Yep. Which you pick, you keep. And to clarify on that also, mm -hmm. there's multiple cars in some things, GT3s. Uh, you know, you, 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 you can't mix, mix and match those. So, for example, Mercedes has several GT3 cars. If you pick a 2020 GT3 Mercedes, you can't another driver go with the 16, vice versa. Pick it, stick with it. So, same those are the rules. Those are the rules. We have and we'll get those out later. <laughs> All right. And then after that, when that starts, uh, after will be the next uh, Sunday Cup, which I posted a picture, which I'm going to post again, which is a teaser photo. I will let everybody know that you can infer from this picture, Anatole is always looking for Easter eggs. So there is Easter eggs in this photo that you can see. What I will tell you is that given the schedule, you should know, given history, what one race is going to be. You obviously know what two others are going to be from follow-ups of this current season. And in the picture are the other three. So the entire season is literally known or pictured in this picture. So let the guessing begin. And uh, we will post the actual schedule soon enough as we get closer. Play picture one more time. Oh, it's up. Hold it up then. Hold it up. Mm -hmm. Put it up. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Turn turn it turn it into a drink. Yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. Yep. All right. All right. <clears throat> well, that was fun. Well, that's fun. Congratulations, Junkai. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Glovis, thanks for joining us. the trophy in half and mailing it to you in Italy. Yep. I'll work on that today. I'll get my, st my steel chainsaw out. <laughs> <laughs> to my teammates. Props and thank you. Another another good Glovis season. Glovis, I forgot about you. You're good, man. <laughs> I know. Sh don't even bring it up. <laughs> don't, damn it. You can mark that out, right? Edit that out, cut, paste Put it all around. <laughs> Damn it! No, nah, thanks, thanks for sticking with us for so long, man. It's been over a year, so happy, happy anniversary. Mercury's oh, going to send you a card and a gift yeah. certificate to some Skyline Chili. Yeah, it's been a great time. I look <laughs> right. I got the family watching. I got. I know. Day did I got to ask? I wasn't even going to go there, but you brought it up. Did they see you rage quit? Oh, <laughs> I uh, what I actually, actually what happened is my my friend who lives right next door was watching, and he was like, "You're done already." I said, "We're done. Let's go." Because we were getting food after, and I said, <laughs> "We're getting out of here." Like, I could not click exit quicker, and. Yeah, my sister sent me a big paragraph telling me to calm down. I was I was going to her, my brother in law, my girlfriend. They were just like, Matt, relax. And I was like, I can't. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, they don't they don't understand. Someone in the PSN chat was like, Did he get disconnected? I think he got kicked. And then someone's like, mm, no, that 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 wasn't a kick. <laughs> so and then we rolled on. We missed you though. We missed you. You'll be back 100 percent There's no doubt. I'm trying. There's no doubt. I've got a, a lot of people in the Discord are, are are supporting. So yeah, I just it's been tough because the every track we've done, well, the two we've done have just been awful to start on. Well, yeah. On top of the GT, and it hasn't been a warm welcome, but we'll get there. You'll get there. It will get there. It, no it wasn't. I I think the the rage quit with a whole family watching is enough to. <laughs> not been I, uh, all i got was a text oh no and i did not want to hear it I... <laughs> you know it's it's bad knowing that you're gonna have to come back to the discord you know to kind of face the music a little bit and then you're gonna have to deal with you know coming on our podcast or whatnot that's that was the thing i was but they were like nobody Are you doing it tomorrow and i was like like they were gonna ask me about the race and this and like, i just but you're the only one that has to that has to like 
deal with your family too. <laughs> like my parents don't care what happens. His family, his family is like a third of the members of the. True. Of the, uh, we thank you. <laughs> we do thank you. Hey, thank you for spam. We're only Blow able to spam. publish this stuff because of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> they all my mom sister extended family i mean everyone that lives with me here is subscribed <laughs> that's amazing we appreciate the effort that you've given to us sir and your family i'm going to send them a christmas card <laughs> yeah. oh, i'll swing with the best. They'll appreciate it well we'll send one back there we go oh we'll do little family photos <laughs> and like you know the whole i'll i'll, I'll get i'll get make sure my mom gets a photo of me in the rig with uh santa hat on exactly and the only thing i ever expect in return is i want to be invited over to your prime day party next year <laughs> no my wife just looked at me no she's not coming and now i, I gotta to know what the prime day party is hey wait you missed out i'll just say you missed out yeah I, I, it was well set up it was well displayed it was i made some steak fries uh <laughs> uh well glovis we appreciate you man thanks for joining us thanks for having me it was a pleasure as always thank you thank you and to everybody else thank you for joining us thank you congratulations again to our winners and we will see you again on next time with a drink with a driver see you guys let up